Hello, hello. I am coming on this, um, this afternoon just to share a few things with you about One Stroke Painting, and I'm excited to share those with you. I also am going to then paint something with you. So what about that? Sound good? All right, so the big size painting behind me, just be looking on my One Stroke Advantage membership because we're going to break it down and paint it together coming up in the future. So a lot of people like my um, camper. And so I was going to take a few minutes while we're waiting for people to get on um, because we um, I don't see anybody on yet, but I'm going to go ahead and start drawing this camper and then we're going to paint after we get some audience on here. So let's get started. If you're out there, it shows people are out there. Can you just say hi and tell me where you're from? Tell me if you're brand new. And I'm going to go down to the, the table and show you some few things that I'm working on right now. So I'm going to flip this and go down. And there we are. And I come a little bit higher so we can see. It's just another quick live. I've done one already this week. I just wanted to do another one. So here's the camper. Hello, Stephanie. How are you? I know this is like two days in a row. You won't know how to act. I think. <laughs> Hi guys. So, so many people, it's just a simple little camper, but I have this piece of wood that I sell. That's pretty awesome. And this, um, these are laser cut. So if you want to get my wood is Donna Dewberry design dot designs.com. So Donna Dewberry designs.com. You have all this wood cut out. All right, so I want to show you that I'm going to take and sketch on here. I might can even use, yeah, there we go. I might can e even use a top to get the wheel. And what's going to happen here is it's going to, hello, hello, guys. <laughs> How to get notifications. Yippee, I'm here. So uh, we had a bunch of people subscribe for my last one. And I want to get a bunch of people over here so that we can start sharing with you how to have painting parties and join our membership so that you right now, I, I saw that YouTube had a special. If you join right now, the first month is half price. So maybe you can go check that out. Uh, that just popped up, Michelle, and I saw it. So I don't know what that means. I've never seen that before. But that means that YouTube's trying to help me get more. All right. So I can come with another bottle. I just want you to see that the camper is pretty fun. And we're going to actually paint this on one of the um, relaxing paints. But I'm going to show you how I would be drawing this to get this all on here. So if you look at the, see the wheel, I'd, I could have done a fen fender on there. But this was um, a piece of wood that I thought would look really good for the this and so if you take the camper and you're going to curve it this way right all right but i just thought it'd be fun because you see a lot of this lately and that is if i make it a big floral okay and then i can have a few leaves over here so then i would erase where the flower is okay and then some of this i would just paint on later some of the leaves, see the leaves here, and I could take the leaves on here. Well, you can base coat this all in. All right, it's my first time, yay. All right, I love it when um, people come on for the first time. Where are you from, honey? All right, so I'm just gonna show you there's a center and I can have a bud right here and some leaves on here. And I wanna take some of these leaves down into the camper but so everything in the camper area if you come back you're going to see these painted and this is i'm just want you to see how fun it's going to be to make all this happen and we're going to have a the tongue coming out here for the camper and then we'll have all the leaves around it so we're going to come right in here and i'm going to put a door here so see then we can decide how to base coat it. All right, so we're just kind of sketching it to see. So see, there's a door, the window, the wheel. Hello, hello. 
And then we have the tongue out here. All right. So one thing that's kind of fun is after I get this, this door shape in here on the camper, and we have campers that come and camp out and never leave in my studio. So we are really partial to campers. All right. So this is Donna DeBerry channel on YouTube. And I am trying to get more subscribers, people that subscribe instead of just watching me. Please subscribe because that makes a difference on how much time I can spend on here. Um, giving you new, new, new. Okay. So I just want you to see that I thought a pretty spray on top. This is my wood site. It's wholesale to everybody um, on the site. If you buy, you might have to buy a couple of the, or a three to four, whatever, two of the same surface. So usually when you want to paint a few for a gift or sell some of the shows. So I'm giving you wholesale by going to Donna Dewberry's. Um, no, Donna Dewberry Woods. <laughs> Hello. Hello, don't do any of that. <laughs> Donna Tuberry Designs with it as dot com. And that's my wood site. So I just wanted you to go check it out. Hi, Taurus. <laughs> this is a surprise, but I can't talk. I was saying I need some of those memory pills that I just heard on the radio. Those would be good for me, right? I need to know if you're new and where you're from. Come on. Hello. Hello. From India. I know where you're from. Um Say hi, guys. We've got somebody from Tennessee. Um, Memphis, Tennessee. Wow. We go to Tennessee usually every year. And so it's nice to hear from people from that area. I love it up there. All right. In Seattle. Woo. We got friends in Seattle. That's awesome. My stroke instructors. And we got West Virginia, Knoxville, Tennessee. Hello, Lisa. And uh, ability, ability crafting. I'm sorry, I'm blind. I'm getting new glasses real soon here. But so now, what I'm going to say, uh, share with you, is we'll put a window in here. And I always like flower boxes, as you can see. All right, and and what you want on most of these is it makes it nice to make it curved. And curved here, just like they curved the door. And then I would make a planter here. And then we're going to paint this on one of my classes. But I'm going to paint something else with you today. So you're not just watching me for no reason. All right. So, sound fun? So come paint this with me. I've got the wood available. These are, um, what do you call them? These are laser cut fillers for a basket. I have a basket. But we thought these would be, the basket hangs on your front door. But we thought these are really cute because you, I have glued these on a canvas and did a fun canvas background. Like you can do trees and mountains and flowers or whatever. And you could just glue this right on. Or you can, this will slide right into the basket that hangs on your door. It's a flat wood basket. All of this is on my site. DonnaDewBerryDesigns.com. So I'm just letting you know that. All right. So sound fun. All right. So now thank you for the thumbs up. All right. Let me go back. There we go. All right. So there, this is a bigger one. But I just take half of it one color, the other half another. And there we go. And we share a lot of this on our Facebook. So if you go to the Donna Dewberries official one stroke group all right i shared you to facebook thank you lucy and you're more techie than i am so that's a good thing <laughs> all right so i just want to paint a little something with you because every time i have a few minutes that i'm just sitting here instead of listening to the news and something else that's going on i like to come on and paint and see share with you what's going on out there in the one stroke world and you guys are out there in the one stroke world, which is wonderful. Fay Fay Fayetteville, hello. Fayetteville, Tennessee, and Los Angeles, California. All right. All right. So thank you, Miss Lucy, for adding to um, our crowd here. <laughs> We're building a crowd. Okay. 
So let's use some magenta as one of my favorite pinks. I used to use all berry wine if you've ever watched me before. All right. So got paint all over me, but that's okay. I'm going to use a foam plate. Now, if you've never done one stroke before, I have every Tuesday, uh, St. Louisa, San Louisa. Uh, I've been there. At Obispo, Obispo, California. I've been there when we landed. The flags, there were a whole bunch of flags because the military were with me and they were going straight in the air, straight. It was crazy. All right. So um, let's, let's get going on painting this flower. All right. So we are going to get a cabbage rose done and uh, see what's going on. What? All right, so what's happening is sometimes I use floating medium, all right? Now, I'm on art paper, and you want at least 85 pounds or higher, okay? And then let me show you what happens here. We are going to just, I know people always ask me, can I do it on canvas? I do most of it on canvas, right? Um, oh, Teresa Chipsy, hello, hello. All right, so let's get started with some fun um, rose. How about a rose? All right, now what I wanna share with you is I'm taking a three quarter inch flat. All you guys who have never painted with me before, this is simple and easy. It all depends on how you load your brush. And it's one stroke painting. We blend shade and highlight in each stroke. It's the Donna Dewberry YouTube channel. And I would love for you to subscribe and you'll know every time I pop up. Okay, does that sound good? All right, we have Jacksonville, uh, no, Jonesville, Louisiana. All right, so I want you to see that I'm going to come around and go closer. Let's go closer. I'm going to come one, two, three, and I'm going to scrub. Now, this is pretty dry. So, this is what I would do. I've got lots of paint, wet on wet is how we're going to paint. And I'm going to go back and forth till that's at least two thirds full. I do have a double loader, which makes it easy. And you can watch that on practice strokes every Friday. I have practice strokes. All right. So look, I want a smoother, looser move. And this should feel like butter. All right. So just like butter, real smooth. Okay, now one thing that a lot of people just would feel so happy is if they could just do a rosebud. So I'm going to show you really quickly. Uh, uh, you, <laughs> you shared me to Twitter. I don't think I've ever been on Twitter. Thank you, sweetie. Um, I, I want to show you that um, this is really easy. And here's the bud, the center part. So I'm going to come right in here and I'm going to put a rosebud over here. So let's do another one. There's the center top. And there is the bottom. It's like a U. So if I come in here, I can do a U and it makes it tight. See how it's winding in there? <laughs> Thank you, Lucy. Amani, hello. What a treat. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. And we want to welcome everybody from all over the country that have never been um, on our site to watch One Stroke. So that's a fun thing. All right. So this is what I'm talking about. We're going to come here and do another layer. And see, by the time we put some leaves around that, we have a fun, a fun little rosebud. Okay. See that? Put some leaves there. Now, I'm going to do another one of those in a minute. But you can stop and replay and stop and replay this live. So that makes it nice. Um, all right. So my favorite rose. Thank you, man. All right. So look. See how I have the center? So now I'm going to come right here. And it's a loose wave. We used to scrub, scrub, scrub. But we don't do all of them that way anymore. We're trying to be a little looser. Loosey-goosey. Really loose. All right. So what do you think about that? 
right. And now, if you watch me, I keep coming over here. We're doing wet on wet. We're not blow drying. I'm telling you, you could paint this right onto a glass plate, which I'm going to do next week on my YouTube. So if you want to see everything that you're going to learn, just come on YouTube. I've got millions of hits on um, and hundreds of thousands of likes on TikTok. But I'd rather be here on YouTube and share it with you guys. So what do you think? All right. So right here, I'm known for my rose. The rose is the first thing a lot of people learn with me. Hello, Miss Julie. All right. So I want you to see if I do one, two. This is on gray charcoal craft paper. Okay. This says multimedia paper is heavyweight this is texture so we really need i know this backwards we really need um a lot of floating medium no water with my technique floating medium and this weight let's see what that weight is it is 80 pound 80 pound but it's this texture so i really like to use a smooth um texture when i can a smooth texture <laughs> it's a smooth uh, art paper all right, and so here I'm going to have, so I've got one over there, and I've got these little ones I'm going to do here. Just got my eight packs of new brushes in today, and uh, eight, number 16, so I'm ready. <laughs> okay, so, so keep going over here to your foam plate and picking up more. So now watch this. We're going to make, we're going to go and make a U. Now when I say that, I want you to see that if you do it this way, it might help you. So we're going to touch here where we started and, and there. All right. So you can do all three of these. And I still have the large brush because it blends shades and highlights for you. Isn't that nice? I had to order floating medium, believe it or not, <laughs> living outside of Jacksonville, Florida, and no floating medium within 50 miles. Uh, or listen, come visit my studio. I'm in Florida. Anybody who vacations in Florida, you can come get a free class in my studio when I'm in when I'm teaching each week. And sometimes I'm not there for the week. I'm traveling, so uh, travel teaching. So make sure you contact our studio, Dewberry U Art Center, or just click us on email. Email is Donna on the Road, and I'm hot baby, so it's hotmail.com. <laughs> So contact us and when we'll schedule when you in, you're in, in Florida for any reason. And even if people say, what if I live in Florida? So if you live in Florida and you've never been there, come, 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 come. All right. Hi from Vero Beach. Guess what? I lived in Vero Beach when I was a little girl and I was born in Fort Pierce and my mother was Miss Fort Pierce. So how cool is that? Susie, I don't know how long you've lived there, but that tells you something, right? Uh, Jan, hello. How are you today? I'm glad. It's nice to share some of this little bit of afternoon with you guys. Uh, road trip. Yes. Come, come, come. And drop by the rest of you. Um, but she didn't paint, so you got to plan. <laughs> Maybe leave your family at Disney and y'all come join me. All right, I have people that come every week, two hours across Florida to paint with me. All right, so roses, roses, I'm known for roses. And I can use the same brush and get some greens, but I will use a smaller brush too. But a 16 is a really nice size, guys, for many of you. And so I have sets of brushes. Go to onestroke.com. You can pick up all your brush needs. And with one stroke, I have the 10 most used brushes, which are a very good special deal. And then I have the 13 most used brushes. So how's that sound? Uh, I know you told me earlier. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going, I put out, oh, by the way, guess what? If you're out there and you're new, all the people who have been out there been with me for a while know that this, my favorite folk art multi-surface paint is my favorite. There's folk art acrylic, there's folk art enamel, but this will do on multiple surfaces. And then we don't use water with one stroke, we use floating medium. And so that makes it just float like butter. So it should feel like butter when you're painting. Hello from Alaska, a part of Alaska. 
one of my besties lives in ADAC and she kind of helps run the airport there. <laughs> and she just was here with me for a week and she brought me, uh, what are you, Calibu? What is that? Um, some kind of uh, meat, but lots of salmon and haddock. And she caught herself. If y'all ever, ever watched that movie about the um, Netflix about the gold, um, she was on ca that captain's ship when she went fishing for me. <laughs> All right, so look, we're going to go right here. Now, I put enough paint that I don't need. I don't need medium. See right here? See if the edge is nice and smooth, then you're good. I don't know if I have a bad edge. All right, here's a bad edge. See how it's starting to get dry? So if you have enough medium, you don't need that. Now, so I can start like this, and then I can just move over. Now, I'm on a dark surface, so I usually want the light on the outside. But look what happens here. I'm going to not miss that little rose, but I guess. Okay, so look, it's already got let's put some color in there. It's already got the dark in here. I'm just trying to show you all this. All right, I know this is crazy. I just wanted to be on and see you guys out there. I don't get to see you, but I get to see you writing. Um, please like and share and subscribe. I, I just told everybody uh, the other day that when I checked, it said 89% of the people who watch me are not subscribers. Come on, guys. Please subscribe. Yes, Gilbert, tell them how. <laughs> So the thing is, if you subscribe, that means I get to do more. My husband kind of manages me. <laughs> so I can be on YouTube forever or Facebook and just have fun with you guys. But we are trying to make a living so I can keep going. And so to keep going on here, we need to have you subscribe because then that makes YouTube want to help me get subscribers and more advertisement so um by clicking thumbs up and by being on and joining thank you miss lucy by when you come on guys and subscribe it's free to subscribe i do have a membership where we're doing full length long lessons that teach you how to go make money and save money let me know when donna's my granddaughter is in school now I have never been where you are. Okay. All righty. Um, so that's with the big brush. Now I'm going to go to a 12. That was a three quarter. But let's go down. So we can use a 10 or a 12 and just fill in with some other colors. Okay. So what I want to show you, that's just make it a big leaf, showing you a little bit about that. Is that kind of fun? All right. Now, most people love my technique because you can go wet on wet and they also 16 is sold separately yeah 16 is sold separately unless you buy the 13 piece professional brush set that's lavender and it has all my specialty brushes inside of it so it's got filberts and angle and um feather brush and rake brush i mean feather fan um scruffies it's got everything the 13 brush set all right i work with a lot of flats though guys so that's really important when you're painting with me uh those plates you had from dollar tree they're nice huh i just found a new plate i just saw it right here where is it all right um here's another color all right so if you go look at my youtube i paint, painted on these dollar tree plates and they make really nice decorations and um, I'm also getting ready to paint this on the back of a plate. So you would turn the plate over. You would use my same paint. And then this is what I'm going to give you a little tease right now. But it is going to be on my channel. So if you want to know when it's on my channel, subscribe. Am I bribing you? <laughs> bribe, 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 please. All right. Uh, airbrush and do fingernails awesome Susie um I think I can do it I think I can do it but then I can't do both hands of myself so I tell my nail techs all the time what to do and I teach them like palm trees and stuff to do on nails they, the most asked is 
please teach us how to do calla lilies for weddings. Um, so look, so you see this? I'm upside down so that you can cut and eat and all on the top of it. And so it's called reverse painting. And I'm going to do a whole thing on reverse painting because so many people ask. So this is a 16 flat instead of the three quarter. And I'm going to load lots of paint on here. This paint will go in glass, metal, ceramic, mirrors. All right. So now look what happens here. Uh, I love that plate. All right. You have to make stencil. You have to make stencils. Which is, oh, I know what you're saying for many of her nails. All right. So look, we're going to come right here. So that's the first stroke reverse of what's on there. So if we come here, uh, the thing that's closest to you. So the closest to me right now is this angle right there. All right. And I can go do a few of these around here because they're going to show um, on the other side. So let's look at this. So this one right here, this is going to show. And then I'm going to go right on top of it and do... Let me do this another way. Let's do this for the back. And you should be able to pick this up, go over it a couple of times, and make this right here. So when we turn it over, you can start seeing why. Let me show you the reason I said do the, do the second stroke first, because that really doesn't show through. So what you would do is come right in here. These two are there. And then I take a blow dryer and it takes a lot more steps. But if you do multiples at the same time, it doesn't take, it doesn't seem like it's a long. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this stroke here and lay this stroke here. All right. And then I can come right in here. I got to go get the right paint. So you want a nice, clean, smooth stroke. So I'm going to come right in here and do that stroke. So see how that, let me put it up here. See, that's just doing reverse. Now I'm going to do the back of this, but I have to dry these so that as you're doing it, you're going to um, build that flower. All right. And the same thing when I'm doing the leaf. All right. And I love getting, if I'm doing this, I've got a 12. And I grab some pink and the lighter color. Some white. Some pink. Okay. I don't know if that's enough pink for that to show. But let's look at this real quick here. We can come right in here. With the pink on the edge. You come right in here, push and stand up. And then I'm going to bring a stem in here. All right, but I'm going to do a whole lesson step by step and have a pattern underneath. But see how that's reversed? And so then um, all of the leaves are easier because you don't have to do everything on the back. And with extra steps, you're just going just like this and stroking the leaves. And then between here. But you're going to be faster if you do all of these steps first. And just keep building each time you blow dry it. Then be ready for the next layer. But I'm going to start from front to beginning. We'll do it together when we do it. Okay. Later, he put one of my fingernails in this card display. Oh, I missed it. When I approached him, ho, ho, ho. my husband did auto body painting and his best friend airbrushed for a tiger. Oh, awesome. All right. So I'm going to go back to the screen and maybe pick up some white and pink on the edge. So now look what happens. I'm going to come right in here do one leaf on top like a, a calyx kind of all right pick up more paint and 
See how it's got a little bit of pink in it? Doesn't that make it pretty? All right. Now, let me show you what happens here. We're going to go back here, and we're going to be at an angle when we start. And we're going to push down and lift. Push down and lift. All the way around. So, uh, if you're new and you haven't been with me before, haven't seen me paint before, please let me know. It's nice to know if I'm touching new people. I put up a reel on Facebook, and I got 10 signups for a class a couple days ago. And that was so nice because they were people who said, what is this? It looks so easy. All right. Um, mine looked like blobs. Well, the whole reason that it would look like a blob is if you don't have this brush flat and you don't load the paint. Like we have the double loaders that help you load good each time. So you dip paint, it's got to be flat. I can dip some pink. All right, so now next I'm going to let's go closer. Now watch this. I'm going to push down and then slide to the tip. All right. And then I teach how to do a little bit of this in a simple way because I do a crooked T. So here is the T. Can you see it upside down? Upside down T. All right. And I used to do straight, like that's the T. So if this is a T, I would lay the chisel right there, the tips of the brush. I push down. And I start slightly turning, and then I stand up, stand up, stand up, and we have a leaf, right? But then people don't like this straight line. So then I started, let me get more paint. Then I started at a crook, um, a crooked top. So I'm here. Now I'm going to go, my tip of my leaf is going to be here. So I touch, I push, and I slide to the point. And then all I have to do is pull my stem in there. And we have a leaf that looks beautiful. All right. So I can come right back here and kind of stroke back over this so it doesn't have that flat edge. Okay. Now, one of the things that's kind of nice is that I'm going to come down here. I, I now get some medium by dipping straight in, straight in there, going back and forth, maybe grabbing some pink. All right. Now I'm going to make, I just got through with a wedding, all right, and my grandson who lives with us most of his life, and that's, this is a flat brush, guys, and you just did all my problems, all right, all right, so look, you're going to come up here and make a chisel line, this reminds me of the bouquets I did, the fresh flower bouquets my sister and my youngest daughter and I did. For the wedding all right so there's a couple of things i want to share with you here's some little vines coming down okay and i do those up on the chisel now if you have an angle brush which is in my um my signature set on the dewberry brush set this lavender uh, brushes if you use those there's angle brush in there and that angle brush helps you get little lines for vines instead of branches and it also helps you uh, just do a simple slider leaf. So you see that? Just simple leaves like this. All right. And so as I'm doing this, I'm going to be picking up color. And let's do a, a pink one here. Just a little bit of white and pink with the citrus. All right. So can you see that? And we'll do a little bit. Now, you can do this on glasses. We're talking about glass plate. So go to Dollar Tree and get some wine glasses. If you're in other countries, um, I go to thrift stores and all kinds of places to pick up plates. Um, we're just blessed here in America to have a Dollar Tree that is no more a dollar. It's a dollar twenty-five for everything. But they didn't change the name to see dollar twenty-five. <laughs> all right. So... I'm not complaining. I buy a lot there. So see, I'm just sliding this and sliding it towards me because it's harder to push it away. Does that sound good? All right. Now, if you want to use angle brushes, go to Practice Strokes. It's every Friday. Go look. 
I have tutorials that you can binge on and learn my entire technique one step at a time. And it's right on practice strokes. They're short tutorials. They tell you all this. And I am coming on some lives uh, here this week because I'm trying to motivate you guys to subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to go check and see how I subscribe when we hang up. And I got a few the other day, which was nice. Um, so we want to keep building so that, um, like I said, we also have, what do you call it? One Stroke Advantage. It's a membership. So you can do $9.95 right now. We just saw earlier, I don't know if it's still there, but YouTube had 50% off for the first month. So it was $5. So that's surprising. All right. So I have a scruffy brush. <coughs> but what you do when you're on my membership, I teach people how to save money and make money with my painting, with your painting. And by being a member, you have the rights to go paint my stuff at the shows and to teach painting parties with my designs. If you do $29.95 a month, you will get five lessons a month. You know, one's a big bonus that's extra long and it's landscapes and different stuff. But you get um, patterns, pictures, downloadable. So you can print patterns, pictures, and um, some worksheets when they need them. Um, and if I don't do them before class, those worksheets, I then have them ready for y'all uh, right after we upload them. And then so when you go to teach, you have everything to print out for your students. I help you price things and share how that happens. And all that's available on One Stroke Advantage, along with 10% of all your purchases discounted on my OneStroke.com website. All right. So you want me to paint some more? <laughs> Which means I need to see hearts. <laughs> All right. So I'm just teasing. I'm going to keep painting. But it makes me feel good to see that you're liking what I'm doing. And I'm just not talking to. I bet there are people out there watching. And if you found me on YouTube. Um, and you've never seen One Stroke Painting before. I love to know that. Um, that's what keeps me going and motivated. Is to share with you guys. Okay. I'm looking for purple. <laughs> right here so purple and white i have three sizes of scruffy brushes all right and these are my exclusive brushes that i created actually this is one of the handles from the signature sets all right that's what i needed hearts you just made me smile really big all right here's the three sizes of scruffies guys these make good for centers um this i use this for some flower centers and and lots more okay i was here from the beginning thank you thank you all right so um let me show you with this half inch scruffy that i'm gonna come in here and this you paint dry with totally dry you're gonna pounce it and then after you clean it in water you you pounce it to clean it in water and to change colors but then you have to totally dry it now when you get your scruffy all of this is on, I'm just going to let you go look at my tutorials. It shows you how to fluff your scruffy and get it ready. Okay, so let me show you here. We're going to pounce in a circle. All right, just a round ball. And then I'm going to tilt this brush with the white up and lean it to make it be wisteria. All right, so sometimes people make these pretty bad looking. But let me show you how to help you. You're going to pounce. I pounce hard. Listen. And then I pounce the white. Now, this is what I want you to see. This is not round. I made it oval. I made this brush. And it's oval. So, I like you crack an egg. When I you crack the oval egg, the top is white or lighter. And the bottom's darker many times when we're painting. All right. Thank you for the hearts. I want the floral brushes so bad, but I have to, I have at least a hundred brushes still. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. <laughs> that sounds like me. I have buckets. I have buckets and cups and containers of brushes everywhere. <laughs> and I have this fun tool. I have to show you, I have a kiss tool. And I, uh, and I know it's not called a 
kiss tool out there in the market. I don't know what it's called, but everybody says it looks like a candy kiss. So my office said, what the heck are you selling? Something called a kiss tool. So I think on our website, we put it as a kiss tool because what's wonderful about this is it's rubber. And when you when you come in here and you dot with it, sometimes depending on how thick your product is that you're painting with, you can push it and make a little, it looks like a center right in the middle. But these are really nice little dots that I put in around centers of flowers and all. And it's real inexpensive. Um, little kiss tool. And those are fun to throw in your order. I also created two new stencils. They just got back in stock. They all sold out at my convention a week ago. And so I have a wreath that can be all four seasons. It's got all the different leaves. I'll have to show y'all that. And then any of you who like bottles, they have uh, flowers put in them, all kinds of bottles. Uh, not the only one with multiple brush containers. Yes. <laughs> um, those are stencils are going to be shown to you. There you go. On um on also my site here on my youtube channel coming in all right so see i just all right did i freeze hello hello there we are we froze up all right so look round now what you want to do to not get mud is i heavy load it I lightly tap it to paint. All right, so listen, heavy, heavy, white and purple. And I'm gonna come right in here, pounce. This is light pouncing. And so it just shades the wisteria, but it doesn't make mud. All right, if you get mud, let me tell you, you just go back and just tap some more white maybe. All right, so I've got one last thing to do here. And I thank you guys for being on. Um, please, uh, if you get the opportunity, please subscribe. Go check out my One Stroke Advantage if you'd like to grow with your talents. And now watch this. I'm going to come here and stroke white over that. Did you all see that? Let me see. No, nope, I think i got to come down a little this way. Excuse me. All right. So watch what happens here. I'm just going to pick up the green and I'm going to go right on top of that wet and put the greenery in there. So this is a slider leaf. Watch this. Push, lift, curl, push, lift, curl and see how it picks up purple as it goes. Isn't that pretty? All right. So every time you come on, I'm going to teach you something new. I promise you. So don't miss out. All you newbies that just came on to watch to, and just found me as you were browsing, please go check out one, my One Stroke channel. It's called Donna Dewberry Channel. And we have a multitude of painting and fun. And I have teachers all over the country and other countries that will help you learn how to paint with me. But I have all this right here for you on our site so come on there we go so until next time thank you so much and i appreciate you just popping on with me thank you all you guys who are supporting me out there all right have a good weekend love you guys